All right, let's go ahead and start up the Galaxy Gear. So we're going to press and hold the power button. You see the Samsung Galaxy Gear logo. The standard Samsung logo that you see on your phone. And now what it's telling you to do is to take your phone and pair it, not with the phone, but with this base, which is interesting. So here I have my Note 3, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this base, which you see here in the graphic, and I'm going to get it close to the phone. Notice how something came up now? So now what I'm going to do is follow the instructions that are here on the screen. Looking for the Galaxy Gear software. I wasn't really able to find the gear manager through the Play Store uh, without going through that process that I just showed you. We'll let it finish up. Installing several components. I'll go ahead and pause this while it continues. Now that it's completed that process, it's actually going through and finding the gear. Notice how it's found it. All right, so I'm going to tap OK. I'm going to do the same thing here. OK. And saying Bluetooth connected. You can see them both communicating. So really, if, if you are going to purchase the gear, you need to have the, the Note 3. I don't see any other way how you can activate it or get it started. So I'm going to acknowledge both of those items. Hit finish. Agree to the terms. And you'll notice I have now that my Galaxy gear is ready to work. Let's go ahead and press the power button and see what comes up. So it's, uh, it's synced automatically the time from my phone, uh, the weather for my locale, everything is coming from the phone. And that's what you got to do in order to set it up. Now there are other things that we can do where you can uh, do some configuration, you can modify the clocks, you can do some personalization. We'll take a look at that in a couple seconds.